Hi everyone, welcome to our fourth screening news update. Now this week we're noticing that some things that we always thought were set in stone are having to evolve thanks to COVID-19. One of those things is the Supreme Court. Starting in May, the justices are going to hear oral arguments via teleconferencing. This is great news for the folks who've had their cases postponed from March and April, but it's also very interesting for court watchers. I'm not sure if you know this, but right now they don't record anything that goes on during the oral arguments. No cameras are allowed. People wait outside for hours for the chance to actually hear these arguments in person. Now, if this goes well, court watchers believe this might actually change the way the Supreme court operates going forward. We'll keep an eye on that for you. Well, that is a surprise. There's one thing that isn't. There are people out there who are trying to take advantage of the crisis. We knew this was going to happen. Right now, we're seeing people trying to sell masks and sanitizers they don't have, touting cures that don't work. And if you're anything like me, you've probably received dozens of emails from online retailers claiming billing problems and wanting your credit card number. Hopefully you've dug deep and you've realized that these are just phishing scams because with all of us working from home, clicking the wrong button could put your entire company's network at risk. So we just want everyone to be aware, double check everything before you click it. And before we go, one quick housekeeping note, May is coming up really quickly. That means you need to print out that new Form I-9 and use that starting May 1st. If you need a copy of it, head to our website, ebiinc.com. You'll find a link there. Hope everyone is happy and healthy, and we will see you again next week.